sensation. And becoming beautiful from the inside out is undoubtedly an irresistible fashion. And for this lady, beauty has become synonymous with her name. She was recognized as a starpreneur of God Negosh. Flawless的女主人Miss Ruby C on the Huron Chinoy Profile 她的童年就像童话故事里从小呀变成了最美丽的白天鹅 Ruby高兴地与我们分享她童年时候的一些回忆 这些对于她今天的成就都有很大的帮助 I grew up actually in a very traditional Chinese family. We were five and we were four sisters and I was actually the, I would say, ugly duckling in the family. I had the chinkiest eyes, the frizziest of hair and actually I didn't like my skin because I found myself too white. So, because I, I felt it didn't look good at that time. So I was very conscious with the way I look. I had to have this confidence in myself that, and that's why I started saying na paano kaya mapapaganda sarili ko? Kasi conscious tayo eh, sa mga Chinese they would say walang thing soon. So I really would go out of my way to make myself look better than my sisters. So I would like to say I'm the kikai of the family. With a striking contrast from her social stature in these days, Ruby admittedly grew up in a simple yet supportive family taught her all the lessons that carried her through life. My mother said, if you want something, you have to work hard for it. My parents brought me up in such a way that I have to really work hard for the things I want and that nothing comes easy in life. And so that is what I did. I have to excel, I have to go out of my way. In fact, I grew up with this motto saying that difficult takes a while, the impossible a little longer. And that I carried all the way until I was in college and all the way during my banking days. Because I was also a banker for several years. I was a treasurer in City Trust. And then eventually I ventured into export and eventually I went into what my passion was in life and that was to pretty myself, not only myself, but also the public. Lawless became one of the leading aesthetic skincare clinic in the country. Because even as a child, Ruby saw the importance of confidence in oneself and how can one worry can change a life. Ruby C shares with us the values she used to guide her company all these years and the reason why Flawless stands out from the rest. Okay, the story of Flawless is that um, it started sometime 2001. I wanted to come up with a destination spa in a resort in Tagaytay. However, I realized that you know there was a need, a, a more urgent need for us to come up with something that I can probably set up to cater more to the masses and that would be the B and C market. Because I know the frustration that, you know, one whose self-esteem can be very low can bring. So I said I have to find that fountain of youth or that, that very solution in order to give us that confidence to carry, carry us all the way through our life. I would always tell my flawless family uh, just one thing, you have to be flawless and hip. As you can see, I say hip because I want it to be in that order. Humility first, we have to be humble type. Next, of course, is integrity. My parents taught me to be always honest, to be not just to myself, but also to be honest to the people I work with, to the patients or clients that I deal with, and more so, my business partners. And then lastly, uh, you know, you have the humility and the integrity na, pero syempre kailangan may passion din because everything has to come from the heart. Three years ago, Flawless went into a phase of rebranding. If you notice, we have changed our logos, we have changed the look of our branches. It is because we recognize the fact that the market is really being saturated by so many other 
um, beauty clinics that are just sprouting left and right. We didn't want to go through any price war with them because we know that what we can offer them is something that is above par. And, and we are very proud of that because all our clinics are powered by skin professionals. And I do believe that Flawless is also different because we all do things from the bottom of our hearts. And as Helen Keller once said, the most beautiful things in life cannot be seen or touched. It must be felt with the heart. We need to my passion in life is my one and only son, Mikael. He's the love of my life, and because of him, I am able to do anything that I put my mind on to. And he is there to always support me. I'm very happy that I was able to make my parents proud of me because they were able to raise me in the way that they have envisioned. Hopefully to other entrepreneurs who can get inspired and really think that um, they can dream and they can come up with something that is going to be uh, beautiful and that can make them happy. Because remember, work is not work. Work is just playing and it's, it's just playing the dreams that you've had in your mind ever since you were a kid. Hi, I'm Ruby Si. My Chinese name is Chiri Mei and I'm proud to be Chinois.